Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back after another great week. We got off to a great start today. We hit on in a way by stoppage. Uh, that paid pretty well. I uh, gave my uh, Patreon another great lock. So, guys, if you aren't a Patreon, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. We hit the lock of the week. I gave him another two play, uh, two two play parlay that they hit on the Inouye fight. Uh, they hit that. So that they're the last three days they've hit two parlays on the lock of the week, guys. So join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's just five dollars a month. You can also find the link here in the banner below. On uh, the Patreon, gets you the lock of the week, which makes you money every single week. Uh, tw- this week, it's you know the last three days it's made you money twice. Uh, you get the ask the book anything, you get a free T-shirt, ask me to h- handicap a fight, break down a fight, do a video. I'll do any of that for you. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Okay, so let's get into uh, today's show. Vasil Lomachenko, George Cambosis. I'm not a huge fan of this fight. You know. I don't think Cambosis is – Cambosis had a Buster Douglas moment against T.P. Lopez. He can never replicate that performance uh, I, on my particular scorecard. And not everyone's going to agree with this, and that fine. that's fine. George Cambosis has not won a fight since pre-pandemic on my scorecard. The last – on my scorecard, the last time he won a fight was Mickey Bay. That was in 2019. He lost to Lee Selby. I don't care what the judges said. He did not win that fight with Lee Selby. I had TFU beating him. That was very close. I had that 114-113 TO. It was very, very close. I had Selby beating him 116-112. I had uh, Devin Haney beating him twice. And I had Max Hughes beating him. On my scorecards, he's lost his last five fights. I, I just don't think he's anywhere near that level. And we're going to – I understand that he's only lost the two fights to Haney. But he did not beat Max Hughes. That was an egregious decision. He didn't beat TFM. He didn't beat Lee Selby. The only one I think you could even make an argument he won was the TFM Lopez fight. And I had it 114-113. I'm just telling you on my scorecards, I have not had Cambosis winning a single fight. He's herky jerky from the outside. Not super high volume guy. Not super athletic. He's a little bit short armed. He's, he's very selective with his shots. He, he looks to counter. He doesn't really like to lead. I, I've never been a fan of Cambosis. He's not busy enough. He's not a big hitter. He, he's not crazy fast or athletic. He's an okay fighter. I, I don't really even think he's a world. I understand he's got to win, but he had this great performance over T.P. Lopez, which he still lost by one point on my scorecard, which one of the judges had as well. I don't care about this. It's not a robbery. The decision was fine. He's just not at that level. He's not a world-class guy. He's not. He's not going to win this fight, and he's going to get beaten up. He has a pretty good lead, left hook. He's got some decent stuff, but he throws arm punches. He throws two targets, not through them. He doesn't really commit to his shots. I don't really like how he throws his – and he's he's fast, but he's not hyper-athletic or hyper-fast. He's not going to be able to match speed with Lomachenko. He's got decent side-to-side movement, decent lateral movement. He's got good feet. He's not a great fit, you know, finisher. He's not a great, great power hitter. There's not just there's just not much about him that screams that he can win this fight with one of the best guys in the sport. Lomachenko still is one of the top guys in the sport. I'm looking at this. He hasn't, like I said, he hasn't won a fight on my scorecard since 2019. When he's fought world-class guys. To me, he's always lost. And I, I don't have any ill will against him. I, I just don't see how he, he wins this fight. He's not going to win on volume. He's not going to knock him out. He's not a puncher. He, he's only got you know one knockout. Let me pull up his boxer again. When was his last knockout? Richard Pena, right before the Mickey Bay fight. That was his last knockout. Because the guy was 11-2-1. In 2019. So it's been five years since he's knocked someone out. He's not going to be able to cut off the ring on Loma. He's not going to be able to trap him. He's not going to be able to do any of that with Loma. He's really... You're going to see... A, 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 I think... A, a, I don't... Think, I think you're going to see a, a, a difference in skill level here. Like I, There's levels to this, and I don't see Cambosis really being able to keep this thing competitive. 
He said he's selected with his shots. He doesn't have a lot of power. He's not going to be able to cut the ring off and, and really make Oba fight him. And he doesn't fight that way anyway. I, I just don't see a path to victory for him. You know, Lomachenko, we, we've seen Lomachenko for years now. Uh, all-time great fighter. Multi-division world champion. Multi-time gold medalist. Nice jab. Good movement. Excellent feet. Amazing angles. Southpaw. The angles. He's in. He's out. He doesn't have, he's not the biggest puncher in the world, but he lands on the button. He lands in accuracy and he lands in combination. He lands in vulnerable spots. Like he's a really, really sharp guy. Like the only way that you can really, he's sharp. Good, good work, good volume. Keep punch, he keeps punching. He keeps coming. He mixes up levels. He changes levels really, really well. He is smaller for the size, but I don't think it's matter. It's going to matter too much in this fight because Cambosis is going to be able to, 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 to cut off the ring and, and muscle him up. Like that's how I would fight him if I was fighting him as a lightweight. I try to roughhouse him. I try to muscle him up a little bit. I try to big boy him a little bit. Cambosis doesn't fight that way, and he's not going to be able to do it. He says. Behind it, a pinpoint guard defensively. He throws a lot of shots. He moves his heads well. He knows how to tie up. He knows how to slip shots. He basically knows how to do everything. And, and that's why he's had the success that he that he's had, despite not being a huge hitter, right? Despite being small for the weight class. He doesn't stand in front of you. He's always sliding. He's always working angles. We, we know Lomachenko, a thousand punches from a thousand angles, combinations, Amazing footwork, amazing athleticism. We, we we know what he is, and to me, this is this is not this is not a great fight for for. As a team standpoint, I, I don't think it's uh, an evenly matched fight, and I know people love Cambos, but I, I think he gets washed in this fight. Now let's take a look at the odds on this fight. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Lomachenko one and a half times, whatever your normal bet is, one and a half times on Lomachenko. That's minus one fifty, minus one fifty. I mean, that's one fifty on minus six fifty. Odds are minus six fifty. You can put so one and a half times your average bet. In this case, a hundred dollar bet, one and a half times your average bet would be uh, one fifty. It would make you twenty three oh seven on that bet. Also, and now we're gonna hedge that. We're gonna. Take that profit and some and put it on Lomachenko to win by KO, TKO, and DQ. Actually, I'm going to do this. We're going to make a big bet on this. Okay, it's a $2 bet is going to make you 30 bucks. You're going to take that 30 bucks. You're going to add $20 to it. You're going to put half your bet, half your normal bet on Lomachenko to win by stoppage. I like the odds. It's plus 260. A $50 bet in this case would make you $130. If Lomachenko knocks him out, and I'm I'm more than fifty percent certain he's gonna he's gonna stop. Him. So this is a good bet. So we're gonna do a two times bet on Lomachenko on the money line. That's easy money. That's gonna make you thirty bucks, and you're gonna take that and a little more, and you're gonna put on uh, Vasil Lomachenko to win by KO, TKO, DQ. So if you're wrong, you're gonna he you hedge your bet. If you're right, you're gonna make one hundred and thirty. You're gonna make one hundred dollars on two hundred fifty dollar bet. If, if, if all this hits, which I, I suppose that it will. If, if it's wrong and Lomachenko doesn't stop him, you lose 20. So it's 160 to win and 20 to lose is basically what you're looking at. Because Lomachenko is winning this fight. So, again, Lomachenko, money line times two. Lomachenko by stoppage, half. Make sense? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is uh, May 6, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.